state lawmaker making a call tonight to ban products that give a so-called legal high. Young people are often the target of these products, and that's why officials say it's so important to ban their sale. News 8's Keith Coons here now with the details on that. Now, Darren and Sonia, they're known as synthetic cannabis products. And recently, some video of the young actress Myrie, Miley Cyrus smoking it made a whole lot of headlines. Right now, these products, as mentioned, are legal here in Connecticut. But if a shoreline senator gets their way, they won't be for very much longer. It goes by names like Salvia, K2, K3, K4 Spice, and Spice Gold, to name a few. These products can be sold legally here in Connecticut. They're marketed as incense, but are often bought by young people looking to get a legal high. Although these drugs have been marketed as natural and harmless, they are mind-altering and dangerous. Now, Waterford State Senator Andrea Stillman is crafting legislation that would make these products known as synthetic cannabis illegal. Among those supporting the idea, the mother of a young woman with an addiction problem who has suffered the ill effects of trying salvia. You can put all the warnings you want on a label, but warnings don't stop kids from doing stupid things. My daughter used K2 not only because it doesn't show up in home drug tests, but also because it's cheap and easily available, and a little bit goes a long way. News 8 was there last year when a Torrington convenience store voluntarily pulled its K2 spice off the shelves. Only time will tell if the state legislature will back a measure completely banning similar products here in Connecticut. These bills are not passed. It sends a strong message to youth in Connecticut that these drugs are okay and that their use is supported by Connecticut. Now, the adverse effects of these products can be everything from disorientation to the loss of coordination and hallucination, hallucinations. Senator Stillman still crafting the nuts and bolts of her proposal. Of course, we will keep you up to date on its progress in the legislature. Back to you guys.